Hey guys, welcome to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to show you the Trajan's Tanks mod for Minecraft version 1.18.2. Most mods, which include military vehicles like the Flans or MC Heli mod, are only available for older Minecraft versions like 1.7.10 or 1.12.2. This mod fixes this absence of military vehicles in newer Minecraft versions. The mod adds a lot of new features including new machines, artillery and most importantly, tanks. So let's start by taking a quick look at the different tanks. There are four tanks, the Panzer II, the Tiger, the T-34 and the Cruiser Mk-1. The Panzer II is a light tank, has 80 health, a short cooldown and is faster than some of the other tanks. The Tiger is a heavy tank, has 110 health, a longer cooldown period and is the slowest tank. The T-34 is a medium tank which has 95 health, has a medium cooldown period at medium speed. The MK1 is a light tank with 80 health and has a short cooldown and fast moving speed as the Panzer II. You can configure all of these stats in the mod config if you want to. You can enter a tank by right clicking and move forward by pressing W. You can't move backwards or sideways, only forward. But you can turn your tank easily by moving your mouse. If you want to shoot with your tank, you need tank ammo. If you have tank ammo in your inventory, you can shoot with the tank by pressing G. You are able to influence the trajectory of the shell by looking up or down. The tank shells have an explosion radius of 3 blocks and do 60 damage. There's also an anti-tank artillery which can shoot anti-tank ammo. You can enter the artillery by right clicking and shoot anti-tank ammo by pressing G if you have the ammo in your inventory. The artillery has 30 health and a medium cooldown. The anti-tank shells do 10 damage in general and 20 damage to a tank. The artillery can't move, you can only push it slightly by walking against the artillery. You can also change the damage of tank shells and anti-tank shells by editing the config of the mod. Let's move on to how you can craft a tank. All tanks are crafted similarly, using the same processes, but also using some different items to create different tank parts. I would definitely recommend installing just enough items, so you can always see all the crafting recipes. I will show you the crafting process by building the Cruiser MK1 as an example. First of all you need 4 machines, the steam manufacturer to create a steering wheel and tank tracks, the plating press to craft a tank plating, the engine fabricator to create a tank engine and the turret factory to craft the tank turrets. Let's start by crafting the tank tracks. For the Cruiser MK1 we need light tank tracks. Watch out if you want to craft another tank because you might need different tank tracks. For the steam manufacturer to work you need to add a hammer into the machine besides adding the other necessary components. Next we can craft the steering wheel in the same machine. Now we craft a light tank plating in the plating press. Besides using the iron nuggets, we also have to add a bolster plate for the machine to work. Afterwards we can craft a light tank engine in the engine fabricator. Next, we create a light tank turret in the turret factory. Again, we must add a hammer for the machine to work. Finally, we must craft a Cruiser MK1 blueprint in a normal crafting table. We can now add all parts in the tank crafter to receive the Cruiser MK1 tank. Bear in mind that if you want to craft a different tank, you will need to craft different components than I just did. We can spawn the tank by right clicking and start using it. That covers about all the information you need to know about the mod. The mod is still in development and there are many more exciting features to come in the future. Although I think there is still some room for improvement in the mod, it fits Minecraft Vanilla really well 
isn't too overcomplicated and is a lot of fun in general. So if you want to have such a military themed mod included in your Minecraft world to fight your friends with tanks on a multiplayer server or monsters in a single player world, I recommend you try this mod out. Thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.